Hey everyone, today I'm going to be opening up this really cool truck die cast set. It comes with a truck and extra wheels and tires and a couple of tools, or well, at least a screwdriver and maybe some axles or something. And this is a 1952 Chevy COE pickup. It looks awesome. I love the color. This is from a series called Just Trucks by uh, Jada Toys or Jada Toys. And let's see, contains one vehicle one tire rack, screwdriver, two axles, and four extra wheels. And let's take a look from the back. I love how they put windows so you can see it from different angles. You can see the rack there. That is a big fat tire. And let's see, the back's kind of white. Here is the barcode if you want to try to search that up somewhere or scan it. Let's see, Ram, GM, Jeep, Ford. I have several of these, probably between 5 and 15 different ones. Like I know I have a Jeep and uh, maybe a couple other um, vehicles, but today I just decided to open this one. This is the first one of these that I've ever opened. Um, usually I, I keep them uh, sealed, but um, usually that's, that's just because I, I want to make videos of them. Um, so this is the first one I get to see what it's like. that open right there. Okay. It's a little bit dusty and dirty because I've had this for um, probably at least a year or two and it was sitting out somewhere where it could get a lot of dust. So I had to, I had to clean it off just a little bit. So there might be a couple particles of here and there, of weird random stuff, sorry about that. But you can always um, clean it off later. All right, it comes with the piece of paper. I guess that's instructions because um, there is a slight bit of building. Let's see, just trucks. Uh, uh, it comes with the frame, does that come off? Or is that, the? that's the tire rack. Okay, you can take the, the bottom of the thing off. So open this all the way up. Okay, step one, take the whole bottom off of the, the die cast part, top part, body. Remove the wheels. Okay, where's step number three? Attach the new set of wheels. Screw the chassis back on. I can't believe you have to take the whole chassis off. Uh, number five is assembly complete. That shouldn't really be a step. So it's, it's four steps, I guess. And let's see, Ford COE, 1952. All right, let's see if I can remember all that without look at the instructions anymore. Let's see. Um, I have this thing right here. I'm not really worried about the packaging. I'm not gonna save it. Let's see. I do kinda need to Use a knife to do this part, just so I don't mess up my fingernail polish during the video. Okay, and this part... Oh, gonna need a screwdriver. Oh, luckily it comes with a screwdriver. That's one thing I hate when you buy a toy and it's just a regular toy and you need a screwdriver to get it uh, out of the package or even worse, you need a screwdriver to take out to open the battery compartment um, and then you don't it doesn't come with a screwdriver because it's not this building toy that I, I can't stand that but this is super great because it just gives you the exact size screwdriver that you need to remove it from the package it's kind of hard to do this with only one hand let's put the knife down do like that. Okay, I think that's loose. Save these screws. All right. Here is the truck. There was an extra piece of the base that was holding it in. And this is still attached somehow. Hopefully it's more easy to get out. Some more screws, more screws. I'll be right back. Okay, here it goes. Oh, it's still attached a little bit. Okay, 
And that is everything off of the packaging, I believe. All right, check this out. There's still some plastic holding it together. This is really cool. Um, okay, these were, this might be extra. This might be, have to come off. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. It's like diamond plate. What am I supposed to do with this though? Um, you can't use this as a base because there's one peg here, one peg here, nothing here, nothing here, so it's not going to be stable. You know what I mean? Like, it can't, you can't keep that like that. So, what am I supposed to do with this? It's too cool to throw away, I, I kind of, I mean, I feel like it should be something. Let's put that aside. And let's take a look at this. How do you get this open? Do I really have to take this apart to get the wheels out? I don't see any other way. Is this, I mean, it shouldn't really be... What, was it called a tire stand or a tire rack? Either way, I think, like, if this was real size and you had, like, mechanics working on this truck, I think they should be able to take the tires off of the rack without taking the rack apart, you know? Like, you just walk up to it and grab the tire or wheel that you need and not have to spend all day taking the rack apart. don't really like that. But that's how it is, I guess. There's some pegs on the bottom. Um, yeah, there's four. None here. This is a really weird design for a rack and the silver base. I, I'm not sure what they're trying to do. Maybe I need to uh, read the instructions more. And you can't just take the screws off of one side, I guess. You have to take them both off. Uh, so far I'm not liking this. I mean, uh, it looks awesome, but this is a lot of unnecessary work, I think. I mean, I don't know if they're just trying to give you something to do to, like, make you think this is fun. Or, like, a model kit or something, or make you think you're a mechanic. But this isn't what mechanics do when they're trying to change the wheels on a truck. You don't... You don't do... You don't take apart your tire wreck. Okay. Maybe once I take it apart, maybe you can put it together a different way so that it doesn't... It, it's more... It's better. It doesn't need to be taken apart again. Alright, let me get these out of here for a second. Uh, okay, these I'm, I'm assuming are garbage. Okay, so, is there a way to put this together? Maybe with this... I'm gonna... I'm gonna set that apart. I mean, I'm gonna put this over here for a second and I'll, I'll read the instructions a little bit more for about the, the rack. Uh, there's gotta be a better way to fix that. Maybe including the silver part. Okay, actually, I looked at the instructions and it does show the base on the tire rack. And I did figure out that um, once you put it back together, you can just easily put the tires on, even... The big ones, I guess? Wait, this one. But, uh, the problem still is that there are these two legs on the bottom, and there's no way to fix that without cutting them off and sanding it smooth. Unless you can find two pegs that go in these holes. These are not pegs, these are, like, physically attached. This is the same piece of plastic as this. So, there's no, these don't come out. Uh... So you're just going to have to sand those off. But uh, anyways, that's that's the thing. That's the deal with this rack. Alright, so here are the new wheels. I'll take a look at the older wheels in a second. These are the front wheels. They're chrome, five spoke, really long um, axle attachment piece right there. Flat on the back, but you're not going to see that, so it doesn't matter, I guess. Unless you're displaying them on the rack. Can you look at the back of the rack? Okay, here are the really uh, big, fat racing tires, or slicks, I guess. Racing slicks. Um, they're so shiny that it's messing up the camera a little bit. Same five-spoke design on the inside. And let's see. These are kind of slicks, too. 
let's see, on the truck it has nice black round, I, I don't know the term for that, but um, I don't know, moon, no, I, I don't know what they're called, really rounded, almost like, like a sphere, half a sphere, glass, black hubcaps, or wheels, I'm thinking they're hubcaps, I don't know, they're the same on the front and the back, the tires have treads, and of course it's the same on the other side, the tailgate comes down and you lift it up and it has little notches right there to keep it closed, unless of course you're turning it upside down like me. Okay, it's got black rear view mirrors, no a chrome, there should be like a chrome mirror sticker inside or at least silver paint, there's not. Black handles right here for uh, help you get in the truck. Some a tape, a piece of tape, uh, I got that open right there without any trouble. I like the paint on this vehicle, it's like a matte metallic. Very unusual color. Can you get the sticker off too? I like how they don't leave any residue. Let's see, here is the interior. Um, it's like really super dark gray or probably just black seats. Really high steering wheel. The steering wheel does not seem to turn or do anything. It's just there. Really nice. This kind of looks like 1970s seats, but probably not. Um, probably more like 50s, I guess, for the same as the year of the truck. Nice pickup bed. Nice plain simple, except for there's this thing right here. Is that the gas? Uh, I don't know what that is. Let me see. Where's the gas tank? I don't see it. It's all flat on the bottom. Some numbers and stuff. Let's see, scale, 124th, use under license, some serial numbers and stuff. All right. The grill is glass. It's a sh nice paint right there, Chevrolet. It's got the logo. Does this open? I don't think the hood opens. Nah, you can see it, it's one separate piece. That's too bad. But at least the doors and the tailgate work. Alright, I guess we should uh, take it apart. Uh, I guess I have to uh, take the bottom off. Alright, um, well I'm guessing that you have to do like this first. No wait, you have to uh, go like that so you can't, you can't really do that. Uh, I'll put one each. Oh wait, wait, are these different? Yeah, okay, there's a shorter one. Uh, there's a shorter axle for the big tires, probably, and a longer one for the small tires, I'm assuming. I didn't specifically read that in the instructions, but that makes sense to me. It's kind of hard to get them all the way in. I don't know how far it has to go, but the ridges are still sticking out. I don't know if I have to, if I have to like, put it on the table and put like a book on it or something to get it all the way in, but we will figure that out later. Okay, there are four screws. Okay, here's the other one. All right, now does this just come off? Not really. Uh, is this gonna be a problem? Is there any more screws? Is there, oh, this is a super deep one right in there. You can't really see it. It's so, this in there. Ah. I hope this isn't as the same size. I don't want to have to remember which screw goes in the front. Looks the same. Alright, now does it come off? Hey, look at that. The fenders stay on. Look at that. Alright, so I'm still not sure what the point of take, having to take this whole thing apart is. When you're just, can't you just pop the fender, oh, can't you just pop the, the uh, axles apart without taking the truck apart? Are they just really just trying to make you think that you're a mechanic and you're, you're like, but mechanics wouldn't take the whole car apart to change the tires. 
Anyways, these are really hard to get off. Do they pop out? Is there any way to get them? Like, okay, if they make you do this, then there should be like a slot there where you could just like lift it out. Like I think uh, Hot Wheels did. No, not Hot Wheels. Um, some cars. Why? Why is this so much trouble? Like, see, there. It's one solid piece, so you have to take them apart. But it's so hard in there. Like, I'm gonna break something if I. Do I have to twist it? If I, if I twist it, that's going to mess up the plastic inside the, uh, the tires, and then they're not going to stay on the axle. This is like... Ugh! That is super hard, super hard to do. Alright. Okay, so here are these right here. Uh, let's put those over there. And let's do this. Yeah, there's got to be a better way to make a set like this. First of all, you shouldn't have to pull this hard. I mean, I guess twisting... I guess you have to mess up the plastic inside the... Uh, inside the, the wheels a little bit to make it not stay on as good. It's still really hard. I have to do this off camera. Alright, I've been wrestling for the, the thing for a couple minutes and it's still not off. But, okay, hold the wheels for me, then twist and pull apart. Uh, I'm not sure... I mean, besides... There's no, like, functional reason to twist it, except for to, uh, I mean, there's little ridges. If you twist it, you're just going to be destroying the plastic on the inside of the tire. I don't, I don't know why, why this is a thing. But, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep twisting it. See, that, that's just, let me see, is that even? Okay, it feel, now it feels different. Ugh. Okay, that one's a little bit easier, but but I, I swear, just twisting it is just going to destroy the inside of here. Uh, I mean, I'm, it, it would be like grinding plastic away. I don't like that. And also, another problem is these are so hard to get off that once you, once you take this one off, okay, when there's two, you can hold it and twist one, because the instructions say to twist. And then once that comes off... Now you have nothing to hold on to when you twist the other one. This, is, this one's like almost permanently on there. You're going to have to go get a p pair of pliers, which they, you know, they don't supply. And you're going to have to, you know, clamping pliers and uh, grip this as hard as you possibly can to get the uh, other ax the other side of the axle off or the other tire, the other wheel off the tire, the axle, whatever. Okay, anyways, let's put those over there. Let's put the new ones in. And I don't want to have to put... Put these on that hard that the other ones were on. I feel like I'm gonna have to like hammer these closed or something. All right, let's put that on there. Let's see, see, there's there's a lot of space. I'm pushing pretty hard. Okay, now there's there's less space. That's good enough. If it's any more tighter, it's not really where I want to spin. All right, that's that's fine. Put that together like that, and this one I'm worried a little bit more about. There's so much space in here. Is this even the front and the back? I hope so. Yeah. Yeah, this is, I don't know how they, how, how much they want it together. That's, that's gotta be good enough. I mean, can't really do it too much more without going and getting a, a mallet, a, a rubber mallet or something. All right, so now you had to put this stuff back on. I don't really remember how it went. Let's see. I think this goes inside there. Like so. I didn't really see how it came apart because it was an accident. Looks right to me. And let's put the body back on. Alright. Now, now there's a weird space right here. Was this here before? Or was it was it like 
that bad before. I didn't really look. Um, it looks correct besides that. Alright, uh, so here are the new tires on here. Let me change the battery camera for a second. I meant the uh, camera battery. Alright, so anyways, um, this is about as good as it's going to get on there. It would look the same if I put the screws, so I'm just going to hold it for a second. I will screw it in later. So, what do you think about the wheels now? Which ones do I like better? Um, I don't know. I think um, they're both about the same to me. Not e Neither one is my favorite. I would say maybe I like this one better. I like the white walls. But this one probably goes better with the style of the truck. It's all because it's all like a you know, customized and stuff. Uh, it looks like someone specifically spent a lot of money on this truck to race it with these slicks. Uh, and it wouldn't really have white walls anymore because those are kind of a little bit too old for this style of new truck. I mean, it, I know it's a 1952, but it's obviously been customized. It's been in the garage for. Probably months at a time being all like smoothed out and repainted and customized and stuff. So then you wouldn't have really old looking tires on it anymore. But uh, I don't know. I think this these pro these are probably better wheels. But then when, once again, uh, th that's the whole point of the kit is you can just uh, put them both on. I mean, like you could have it like this on Monday. And this could be your Tuesday wheels or you could buy other truck sets like like this um, just truck series and you could have a different set of wheels for each uh, each day of the week or whichever ones you like the best if a Jeep has better wheels than this you could probably put those on here or whichever ones all right so I hope you enjoyed this video check out my other videos and subscribe to see when I put out new videos and uh, thanks for watching See you later!